This is Kyle from Geek Factor Radio here with Rika Muranaka. How are you doing today, Rika? I'm doing good. Yeah. Are you enjoying the convention so far? Yeah, yeah. I, I had a chance to talk to a lot of my fans, and uh, yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, and you definitely do have a lot of fans. You, how long have you been composing for Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid? Uh, I've been composing for Konami for the past 20 years now. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Amazing. And nobody was writing music for a video game at that time. Yeah. So yeah. you were one of the first to really get I into the industry. Think so I think I'm the one of the first to bring a real music, yeah. like an orchestra or Hollywood film composer. Mm-hmm. I think I'm the first one to bring Harry Gresson Williams into the video game world. Yeah. And now it's kind of, you know, film composers, you know, is uh, writing the video game. It's kind of getting normal, yeah. you know what I mean? But at that time, nobody's doing that. Yeah. So. so you're a trailblazing for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a question I have for you. How do you, how do you come up with like mixing that amazing like emotional music in in a video game with just so much you know intense action and things like that? How do you how do you come up with that in your mind? You know, it's really crazy because Hideo Kojima is um, he's unique mm-hmm. and uh, he doesn't give us a whole lot of direction. Yeah. So he well we didn't know we never read the script. We never look at the any of design really until everything was finished. So we never really had a chance to look at the video, the footage. Everybody thinks it's like a film score. Yeah. If you're gonna have the video footage and then you're gonna score you know with a cue, right? Yeah. Okay. No, we never had a chance to do that. Wow. Except the last one that I worked on it's only one track we had the video only one track only and <laughs> and other than that he deals an actual one two three four five that's give, give a different five patterns of action five patterns of sneaky five patterns of ambience I, i'm like okay so it took a while for me to adjust you know his thinking yeah. and his concept yeah. and where what does he want you uh-huh. know so I hung out with him, we went drinking, yeah. you know, eating food, dinner, lunch, over, discussing. Yeah. So after a while, you start to research the guy, you know, after a while, I understand his mentality and his psychological way, where he's going with it. Yeah. You know, he started talking bits and pieces. So I kind of figured out, okay, that's what you want. And I kind of asked him, like, a more in a personal level, not in, like, a business level. Yeah. You know? Then I kind of understand where his minds are. Yeah. Then I'll tell Harry, okay, I think he did wants this way, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because we had no idea, because we didn't have any directions, that we never done this before. Yeah. So the first, you know, two, you know, I think the first two was kind of like trying to, trying to air. Yeah. And once I started getting, like, I actually understood, you know, just one word, two words that he says, like, I kind of, I became like a psychiatrist, you know, a mind yeah. reader, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you just, I know exactly right, what you want right, right now. Right. So, well, yeah, that's, you know, that's how I worked for, I don't know, a good 15 years, I think. And that, that really goes to show, like, truly how talented you are, that you're able to, you know, without having all these other, right. you know, resources to draw from, come up with such an amazing soundtrack and an amazing sound that's, it's, I really do feel like it's unique to sort of the gameplay that we have in the different video games and soundtracks. Well, soundtrack before the video game, is, as you know, when we started out, was like single tone, real. Yeah, just beep, beep, bop, right, beep, bop. Right, yeah. right. And so when I made the transition from recording industry, because before the video game music, I had a record uh, contract with a major record company. I released about four albums. Yeah. And I was doing jingles, you know, the same thing, yeah. like I, any composer will do. Yeah. Writing for other people, uh, jingles to film, TV, whatever. Yeah. So that's what I was doing. And a lot of, you know, record company called me and said, what are you doing? Are you writing music for a video game? Isn't a video game it's like beep, 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 <laughs> or like something really, really simple? Yeah. I said, no, no, I'm trying to change that, you know, world. Yeah. So I'm trying to bring a real music that, you know, I can write in, in the recording industry because now I can really, really put the music to the scene just like a film. And I wanted to get into the film industry in Japan, but film industry in Japan is not like in Hollywood. Yeah. The budget was really, really low and really low. So I was like, how am I going to write music with that <laughs> amount of money with a short period of time? Yeah. So I was like, no, I don't think I want to write for the music for film industry in Japan. So it's like the, this was the closest thing for me in like a Hollywood film, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's how I got into the video game. That's like I we really want to create like a Hollywood film score. Yeah. Then that's like I'm gonna be the first one to do that. Exactly. And that's why you know I was kind of like really really 
you know, happy with the things that are going right now. The film composer really jumped in. And, you know, maybe it's good and it's bad for because the video game composers now, I think, are losing jobs because the, a lot of A-list film composers want to write the music for a film. Yeah. Before, film composers didn't want to touch it, you know, because I asked Hans Zimmer, uh, like 20 years ago, I uh, want you to write the music for the video game. He's like, what video game? You video game? Yeah, he's, he's yeah. like looking at me like, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm getting this amount of money. You think I'm going to write for the video game? You know, of yeah. course, he's writing for the video game too. Now, yeah. Right after many years. And yeah. uh, I use, um, you know, uh, Hans Zimmer Studio many times. And actually, all my music was uh, mixed at the Hans Zimmer's studio. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I yeah. didn't know that. Uh, I love his studio. It's like, and uh, I think he's the only studio in LA capable of, of having the, all the Pro Tool rigs. You know, he's yeah. m into all the gadgets too. Yeah. So he's the only place that I know I can mix, you know. So I go to all, yeah, yeah he's really great. That's yeah. awesome. Well, Rika, thank you so much for talking with us. and. I just really look forward to continue to see what you do with your career and your music, and, well, and it's amazing. You so You're much. amazing. Thank you. And thanks for sitting down and Thank talking you. with us. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs>